welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I have shared a couple of videos with you guys before about my experience with influencer marketing and, I, and how I have used influencer marketing to grow my business. And one of the main questions, if not the main question I get from you guys is, how do you find influencers to work with to promote your business and to promote your product so in this video i'm finally going to be answering that for you because i found five ways to that i think are the easiest most effective ways to find influencers and i have personally used four out of five of these ways <laughs> Okay, so the first way that you can try to find influencers is through this platform called Modash that makes it super easy for you to find influencers, find their contact information, and also look at the demographics of their audience so you know if this influencer is right for you. It's just, it's mind blowing. Let me show you. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like and this allows you to find influencers on Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok. And what is so cool about this tool is that it lets you choose everything that you need on an influencer. So for example, I know that I want influencers that are in the United States. Uh, I love working with micro influencers. So let's say if I want influencers that have anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 followers. You can also choose average real plays. I personally don't take that too much to heart. But one thing I do love is working with female influencers because I know that usually their audience is going to be the audience that I'm looking for, which is other females. And then this is where it gets amazing. Like you can actually select their pages interest. So let's say I sell skincare. So I know that I want someone who probably does lifestyle. Let's see. Oh, maybe fitness and yoga and then beauty and cosmetics a must language. If you are, if you specifically want an influencer who speaks a certain language, you can put that in there too. Engagement rate. This is where it gets even more amazing. <laughs> so the average engagement rate is 2%, so you can go with that, but you can also just filter it out up to 10%. These are micro influencers. Micro influencers do tend to have like a greater um, engagement rate, so I will probably aim for like those higher ones, you know? And then this is where it gets even, even more amazing -er, okay? Because you can actually choose if they have other platforms, but what it is mind blowing for me about this is that I can ask this awesome platform to be like, hey, only show me creators, influencers that have their email, that you can find their email for me so I can actually reach out to them. That is a game changer right there because most of the time, like the main question you guys always ask me is like, how do I reach out to influencers? And before my best advice would be like, just DM them or like if on their page they have their email address, like go ahead and email them. But this platform is literally fetching those emails for you. That's insane. <laughs> and then something else that I absolutely love is that you can choose the account type. So regular, business, or creator. Sometimes I like to choose regular and creator just because I just want someone who has 5,000 to 10,000 followers and who have an engagement um, rate of over 10%. I personally don't care if they are already like committed to being an influencer and they switch to a creator profile. I think regular is just as good if they meet the other metrics, right? Then you can also look for like hashtags that they commonly use. So for me specifically, like let's say if I specifically want to look um, for someone who is like a, a skincare influencer, I will probably put in here like, you know, uh, get me someone who's constantly using these hashtags like skincare, skincare routines, skincare products. That will be like, if I really wanted to niche it down to that, like this allows me to do it. You can also put mentions, other keywords. Um, this is another amazing feature that it lets you filter their audience. So what we were doing up here was filtering them. Now it lets you filter their audience, which is also amazing. Like, yes, I want the influencer to be in the United States so I can um, send them products um, easily, but I also want their audience to be in the United States 
because I know I don't do very well with international customers because those shipping rates can get a little crazy. So if their audience is mainly in the United States, I know for a fact they're gonna be able to generate me sales. And then I could filter it here how much of their audience I want it to be in the United States. Um, I would like uh, at least more than half of their audience to be in the United States. Gender, I would like at least more than half of their audience to be females because I know that my product is mainly targeted to females. H, you can filter the audience by H. For in my case, I would like their audience to be between 25 and 44 because I know that is my perfect target audience. So you can literally filter this by your target audience. Like only show me influencers that have an audience that's also my target audience. This is also amazing because you can actually filter influencers who might have like too many fake followers. Like I have told you guys before, like I have been scammed with influencers and some of that it's like me paying all these thousands of dollars to people that have like a million followers, but then come to find out nothing came out of that post that was getting in front of their million followers because most of those followers were probably fake. <laughs> So you can actually filter here, 25% um, is a good one. Again, you could put like interest, what, what is their audience like interested in? So I would also look for that beauty and cosmetics here and what language their audience mainly speaks. And you can also fix the percentages here. That is awesome. So then it'll tell you how many influencers it found for you. Show me all 300 influencers that meet my criteria then you can scroll down here and it shows you and then you can just save them to a list from that list you can go and download a file and that file has their contact information their emails their handles their names so then you can go ahead and reach out to them like this tool is amazing game changer for reals all right, let's move on to weight number two that I use to find influencers. So this is before I found this platform, before I found Modash, but I think it is still just as good if you have the time and you wanna put it in the work. And this is going to be specifically through Instagram hashtags. This is also a really, really good way because what do influencers always use on their posts to get more discoverability? Hashtags, right? So I specifically do this on Instagram. I'm not sure if you're able to do this in other platforms like TikTok, but I pretty much just go to the search tab at the bottom of my Instagram app and I would just, let's say, put hashtag skincare and then I would go to that hashtag and actually guys something you should be doing is you should be looking up all of the hashtags that have to do with your brand and what you sell or your product and your business and you should be following all of those hashtags like I don't know why I'm not following this one maybe I got to it at all the content but I literally follow a lot of the hashtags that have to do with my brand because then I see all the posts that are going under this hashtag and a lot of those posts are from influencers. So boom, just from following a hashtag, you find potential influencers that you know are making the type of content that you want. So this is an example of a hashtag. This is hashtag skincare and it literally just shows me all of these posts. The very first one, I already know she's an influencer. She's literally making a reel about skincare. So guess what? I will be reaching out to her. <laughs> yes, let's go right now. And after you find that influencer, you can either DM them, you can see if their email address is on their bio and you can just email them. Or another way you can find their contact info is you can actually come back to this Modash tool because you can look up influencers individually and then you can see if Modash is able to find you their email address and their contact information. So that's actually also a really good way to use this tool is not just finding influencers, but also finding the contact information of an influencer that you found yourself on Instagram or somewhere else. Okay, and way number three and four to find influencers this will probably be easier if you have already worked with influencers before but it's also a really good way to find new influencers so it's pretty much if you have already worked with an influencer and that promotion worked really really well then you can actually find influencers who are 
lookalikes who have a similar audience and create similar content as this influencer that did that you worked with and did really well so then you already know that other this other influencer that is a lookalike is also going to work well way number three is how to find those lookalike influencers and that is again by using the modash tool i'm actually going to look for lookalike influencers of me <laughs> Guys, I do not consider myself an influencer. Some of you actually DM me so I could like create content for you. I'm not that person. I am a content creator, but I, I do not influence, if that makes sense. <laughs> but I'm gonna use myself as an example for this, okay? Okay, so let's say Mariella did a promotion for you and it worked well. High engagement, lots of people, lots of visitors to your website, lots of sales. You wanna find other influencers that have a similar audience to Mariella so you can also work with them, right? So you're gonna go back to the Modash tool and you're going to scroll down to the search by username. So let's look for Mariella Percal. There she is. All right, and then this is gonna show one influencer. There she is, Mariella Perez Calderon. And then we're gonna click on her. You can look at, damn, my engagement rate is 20% right now? Ooh, wow, that's a lot, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna scroll to audience lookalikes. So this is actually gonna show you influencers that have similar audiences as Mariella. So this is awesome, same thing, you can save them to a list, you can find out if Modash is able to get you their email and contact information, or you can look them up on Instagram, send them a DM or email them. But the fact that this allows you to look for influencers that are alike, I like that. Way number four is another way that you can look for influencer lookalikes using Instagram. All right, so let's keep using Mariella as an example, right? We're gonna go to Mariella's profile, all right? And if you're familiar with Instagram, you should know about this. So this is Mariella's profile. And I don't know if you guys noticed on Instagram, but there's, there's this handy dandy tool right here that if you click on that, it gives you suggestions on Mariella's page. And these suggestions are pretty much pages that have similar content as Mariella's page or pages that have similar audiences or even pages that share followers between Mariella and that page. So that is also a really awesome way that I have personally always used to find influencers and you can literally just go one after the other, just DMing them like, hey, would you like to help me promote my business? Would you like to help me promote my business? Would you like to help me promote my business? Just copy and paste. <laughs> okay, last but not least is way number five to find influencers. This is one that I have not used myself, but I am hoping that I do get my business to that point soon. So, and it's a way that you can pretty much delegate the responsibilities of having to find the influencers yourself. And that is by working with an influencer marketing agency. There are actually agencies out there that their business, what they do is find influencers for you and just do everything for you from finding the influencer to reaching out to the influencer to sending the influencer the product to telling them what kind of content do you want to doing to doing the posting to doing everything like they would manage the entirety of the process for you which is amazing but the thing about that option of course it is you know you need you know, <laughs> Which is one of the reasons why I haven't done it myself yet. I mean, I have had conversations with a couple of influencer marketing agencies. The prices are not that crazy. I think it's totally, totally, totally fair. But it's definitely something that you do when you feel like your business is like at that level. And again, when you want to delegate the responsibility, I'm still at a point where I don't mind doing the influence, influencer outreaching myself, especially with now that I found this Modash tool, I absolutely don't mind it because now it makes it extra, extra easier. So yes, those are the five ways that you can find influencers to work with, to promote your business, to promote your product, or to promote your service. I will be coming up with with more content for you guys showing you a little bit more of my influencer marketing journey because I feel like up until now it had not been the bestest estes journey but that's because you know 
it's a learning process and now that I found this Modash tool I feel like it'll be so much easier because now I can actually vet the influencers and more easily reach out to influencers that I actually want to work with than before you know I, you know <laughs> if you see my other videos you've seen my influencer nightmares so I feel like this tool is going to really really help me with not dealing with those little nightmares anymore <laughs> so be sure you smash the subscribe button turn on those post notifications and join my discord channel and any questions that you guys have you can drop them down in the comments below and when you join my discord channel you can also drop them in the group chat it's a community of other small business owners other e-commerce brand owners so so i encourage you guys to join and it'll kind of work as a support system you know and real quick i want to thank modash for one sponsoring this video two reaching out to me and three creating this tool because they reached out to me and i was like ah, another platform let's see what it this does but i have actually been absolutely amazed by what this tool can do i am so excited to start the new year using this tool to perfect my influencer marketing outreach and i have actually started to implement it in one of my businesses so thank you very much modash this tool is awesome and i am so excited because i really do feel like this is going to help a lot of people and this is going to help a lot of small business owners other than that guys i will see you on the next one